Our final speaker on this panel this morning is Dinga Sikwebu um, from the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, going to talk to us about the United Front. Dinga? All right. Uh, thanks, uh, Fazila, and uh, thanks, everyone, for, for coming. And uh, I look forward uh, to hearing uh, other experiences. Um, let me just uh, start by saying uh, who NUMSA is. Uh, we are a metal workers union in South Africa and uh, we have uh, close to 350,000 members uh, in the metal engineering sector, automobile sector, energy um, and in the smelters uh, which is sort of uh, steel mill and, and all of that. So we are the uh, the biggest uh, uh, trade union in South Africa um, and we were formed uh, in uh, 1987 but uh, our history goes back to the emergence of uh, black trade unions in South Africa in the mid 70s. Uh, um, we have uh, been affiliated, uh, or the trade union center that we belong to is the Congress of South African Trade Unions, uh, COSATU, and, uh, and COSATU, as you know, uh, since 1990, after five years uh, of its existence, when the African National Congress and other political parties were unbanned, uh, uh, COSATU formed uh, what they call an alliance with the African National Congress and the Communist Party. Um, so this alliance has been there since uh, uh, 1990. Um, last week, uh, uh, our union uh, was uh, expelled uh, from COSATU. Um, and uh, as we speak now, there is a, a meeting to discuss the meaning of this expulsion for COSAT and what we're going to do about it. Um, and uh, the reason for our expulsion for us is because as a union, we took a decision that uh, the COSAT to which we are affiliated to must break the relationship with the ruling party, which is the ANC. And that uh, uh, what is needed is an independent trade union movement. Um, and for that, uh, we have been uh, expelled from COSATO uh, uh, because uh, the people in COSATO think that's a policy uh, and that we violated that uh, policy. There are other uh, 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 charges, but in the main, we see it as a political, uh, uh, the reason is political. Um, now, let me just say, because I'm supposed to speak about the United Front, where we took this decision for COSATU to break from the ANC, we also took uh, other resolutions and the two important one for this gathering is that uh, we as the union uh, should form what we call a united front and for us that united front is a coalition that would bring together trade unions workers and social movements and this would be around concrete issues. Uh, the second uh, uh, decision that we made, in addition to breaking from the alliance and forming the United Front, is uh, uh, that uh, we do think that uh, uh, the last 20 years in South Africa, what we have seen is a government that uh, uh, embraced uh, policies that uh, went against ordinary and poor people. Um, and we've traced this uh, uh, from the beginning of our democracy 
um, and we felt that uh, this embracing of neoliberalism by the ANC uh, requires a different path. So we think that uh, uh, the ANC has been captured as an organization by capitalist interest and that uh, there is a need for a party that will, be, will represent workers and ordinary people. So on one hand, we are exploring the establishment of a political party. But on the other hand, we have decided to establish a united front. The two are related, but they are separate. Uh, the united front is a coalition between unions, social movements, uh, uh, protest organizations, um, and it will be col collaboration between these organizations. And we hope that these organizations will continue to maintain their autonomy and will be working together on campaigns with them. On the other hand, we think that there's a party, but we're exploring that and a decision about what form and what we're going to do and the nature of that is something that we will decide in the future. So it's nice to hear uh, uh, people who say, look, uh, they are 75 years, uh, uh, because maybe we can sort of uh, learn how they've been doing this. We have uh, just uh, decided on this path in December last year, and for the uh, best part of this year, we've been talking and trying to see how that united front uh, will uh, um, shape up. Um, the first uh, thing that uh, we, we did was uh, to see whether, what is it that can unite workers and people who are in communities? And we thought that uh, the issue of youth unemployment would be a, an important uh, question because uh, the people who are uh, under the age of 29, about 70% of, of them in this country are unemployed. So in March 19, we sort of mobilized a strike, uh, both by uh, unions and uh, the communities, on this issue of youth unemployment. We thought that, you know, uh, because uh, the workers are parents and they send the kids to school with the idea that they will uh, get some jobs, it will bring us together. Um, so this is what uh, we've uh, taken. What we've also uh, been uh, doing is to bring uh, where there's a concentration of our members uh, together with community organization to form what we call embryonic united front structures. This is a path of discovery. We are trying to figure out how this animal would look like. And uh, over the last uh, few weeks, we've been uh, going around and taking up a sort of a localized uh, uh, campaigns. And uh, as I say, uh, the idea is not just to uh, support these local movements, but also to ensure that our members who live in those areas are involved in some of uh, these uh, uh, coalitions that we are establishing. Um, because we think that, uh, uh, if I can take uh, uh, Lenny, your, your point, uh, 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 what we've seen uh, in South Africa has been a sort of double movement. We've seen this a protest in communities. And in the main, uh, workers have not participated in them or supported them. But we've also, there's been another movement which uh, Lenny said is, it's not necessarily uh, anti-systemic. Anti anti but I think that uh, uh, if you look at deeply, I mean, this is now my argument, if you look at uh, why, for instance, there's been a rise of, of uh, strikes over the last uh, few years, except in one year, if you take the 10 years, it's been the, around the issues of wages. And uh, the reason why I think our members are taking up these demands is because that uh, they are unable to ensure that there's a livelihood uh, of their families. 
And therefore, we think that there is a basis, although it may not seem overtly political, but the source of these, uh, what are called sort of bread and butter struggles, is political. And, and therefore, we would want to see, and, and, and we think it's unfortunate that the people who monitor or comment or even uh, 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 do some advocacy haven't seen the sort of the revolt on the shop floor as also as part of the rebellion of the poor. Um, and, 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 and what we're hoping is to see whether these uh, can come uh, uh, together. Um, as I said, we are learning. We don't have a, we don't have a, a picture of how this united front would look like. We think that we should discover it as we work with the communities and hopefully we can find an instrument uh, that can uh, uh, be able to take up interests of ordinary people in this country. Thank you very much, Dinga. <laughs> and let me just say as a representative of South African civil society, we on the left are very excited and energized by the news that NUMSA has launched this united front. And we wish them every success. Mm -hmm.